Naga. It's a little noisy. The waves are quite loud and we are hunting for nodules for uh, deep plutonic sandalit. And uh, we just found a dike and it's pretty full of nodules, pyroxene and amphibole nodules. So come here and have a little look for me. So here's one for example, here's another, here's another, and they stick out as, uh, as uh, really dark blobs in uh, this uh, greyish dike and there's also olivine in there, but the olivine is weathered to uh, this orangey brown material. And if you look around then you'll actually see that there's a lot of these fragments and uh, there's even some big ones over here. So the, the abundance of them in this dike is quite high and um, they likely come from what we call the underplating zone, the area under the volcano or under the island where the magma accumulates and starts to crystallize. And when then there's renewed magma activity, then uh, uh, it can happen that some of these fragments are brought up, that they're broken up from this plutonic environment and brought up in these dikes. So this is a window into the uh, deep part of the magmatic system. So, and we're standing here on this dike, it's right at the beach, and uh, my God, it's a wonderful location to actually do field work. So here we have messengers from the mantle while standing here at the beach in Anaga. Gorgeous place, and I'll close with a last look here on uh, this fantastic messenger from depth from the underplating zone, probably about 15 to 20 kilometers depth. And uh, this is where the main magma storage would be. And this is what we also see on La Palma, for example, that magma is stored under the island and it's building up pressure there before it finally comes up and erupts. And here, these crystals inside these nodules allow us to say something about the conditions at depth and therefore they're a great source of information. So, thank you very much, and I'll report back a little bit later. Now it's time for hammering some of them out. <laughs>